Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I would like to demonstrate how to detect if caps lock is on within JavaScript. It's actually pretty straightforward and it looks like this. So I've got here just a basic password field. If I was to hop inside here and then press on the caps lock key, we get here a message that says caps lock is on. If I was to now type out some characters and then take caps lock off, the message goes away. And if I was to once again put it back on, the message comes back. So we're going to create this functionality in this video. Okay. So inside this second tab, I have just the form by itself. So if I was to press caps lock here, it does nothing. So let's actually go ahead and implement this caps lock functionality for this form right here. Okay. So inside the HTML, um, we have here just um, the label, the password field itself, and also the submit button. Okay, so we're going to begin by actually creating the caps lock is on warning message. Okay, so below the password field, let's make a new paragraph tag with a class of caps lock warn. Okay, inside here, we can say caps lock is on. All right, we can now add some CSS to this paragraph tag to make it look like a warning. So up here we can say um, a class of caps lock warn, and we can say a font weight of bolds, a font size of let's just say 14px, and a color of red. Okay, so I can now save this and refresh my browser, and we get this result right here. Okay, so let's just hide this message when the page first loads up. So back inside here, let's set the display um, of this by default to be none, okay? So I can now save this and refresh, and now when the page loads up, the warning is hidden by default. Okay, cool. So now we can add the JavaScript, which will actually toggle the visibility of that message when caps lock is on, okay? So back inside here, let's add some JavaScript and we're going to first get a reference to both the password field itself and also the caps lock warning message. Okay, so down here, let's make two constants. So we'll say const imp password, uh, basically the input password, equal to document.getElementById. And we're going to pass in here my underscore password, which lines up with this ID inside here. Okay. We can make a second constant called caps lock warn, and this will be a reference to obviously this paragraph tag right here. So we can say document.query selector, and we can pass in here a class of caps lock warn. Okay, so this will actually get me the first element which has a class of caps lock warn. You might want to actually change this to suit your own um, web page or scenario, but in this case right here, this will work, okay? So we now have a reference to both the password field itself and also the warning message, okay? So let's say that whenever the user enters some characters into, um, well actually, you know what? Um, anytime the user actually presses a key inside um, the input field, we're gonna check if caps lock is on. Okay, so down here, let's say imp password dot add event listener. We're going to listen for the key up event. So whenever a key gets pressed and it gets released within the input field, we're going to run this function inside here. As we can see, I've actually accepted the e um, argument here. So e refers to the event which has just occurred. And we're going to be using this E object, the event object, to detect whether or not caps lock is currently on when this event occurred. Okay, so inside here, we're going to make a new constant. We're going to call this is caps lock on. This will be equal to E dot get modifier state. So this function right here is going to tell us if caps lock is on. So Within here, we're going to pass in caps lock just like that. Okay, so now this will give us true or false. Okay, so 
this will be true or false and from there we can basically decide what to do with the warning message okay so down here we're going to say caps lock warn all right we're going to say style dot display and we're going to change the display css property of the warning message um, based on this so we can say display equals and we'll say is caps lock on if it is on it's going to be a block otherwise we're going to say none so basically if caps lock is on we're going to display the message otherwise we're going to hide the message all right so i can now save this and refresh and we have our final result so inside here if I was to start typing and then press on the caps lock key, we get that right there. If I was to um, let it go, we get the messages now hidden. And that is how you can detect if caps lock is on within JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.